Alrighty, so today's project is we are going to pull our, uh, I guess, cutter bar, I don't know what it, exactly it's called, out of the sickle, and we're going to work on replacing all of these cutter teeth on here. I actually bought the replacement cutters for this last year, but when I started having issues with my baler, um, and I didn't end up getting a second cut out of this field over here, I just never bothered to replace these out. But before we go ahead and cut the rest of that field, I'd kind of like to get these replaced, see if we can't get it cut in a little bit better. So the reason that I didn't take the cutters off from the end that's all the way that way is because there's actually two, uh, two pieces of metal that run uh, on each side of the cutter so they take a longer rivet and I don't think I've got any rivets that are long enough for those. I've only got the, uh, just the, the standard size ones that are long enough to go through just the one bar and then the cutter. So I'll have to pick some more of those up in order to replace out these other ones. So we got our brand new cutters here. They're nice and sharp. So hopefully these will uh, make this thing work a little bit better. Uh, oh, really use a ball peen hammer here. That would be better. Alrighty, well we got all the ones that we could get replaced on here. Like I said, I couldn't get these upper ones done uh, today because uh, I don't have these longer, the longer rivets to uh, replace those out with. I've got plenty of cutters, just, just not the right size rivets. I also didn't do the one that's all the way at the bottom there. Uh, that's a special cutter. It's got like a double tooth on it. It's for uh, putting right at the end of the bar and I don't have a replacement one for that. but. We got most of them swapped out, so we'll take this back over, get it put back in, and then do a little bit of cutting this afternoon and see if it does any better. Alrighty, so I am 
almost done. We still got a little bit left over there in the main field. I've still got the hillside to do as well, but that's not a whole, whole lot up there. Um, but seeing as I was getting close to being done, um, and, and it was cutting really well too. It's, I wasn't sure how much better it would actually be doing because uh, by replacing the cutters, you're only, uh, you're only replacing like half of your scissor. Um, so on the part of the sickle that doesn't move, there's a plate in there that is kind of like the other half of your scissor. Um, and so if you don't replace those as well, you're only kind of doing half of the half of the project, half the job. So I wasn't sure how well it was going to do, but there's there's definitely a noticeable difference in how well it cuts, which has been great. Um, it's made this go a whole lot smoother. Uh, but anyways, I I was getting close to being done with this flat part and. I'd been taking it fairly easy. I didn't want to push it too hard. And uh, <clears throat> so I thought, well, what if we kick it up a gear, you know, and uh, see if we, we can go a little bit faster. And it, it was cutting really well, and then uh, it wasn't cutting at all. So what I did is I, there's this wooden, I forget what it's called, it's a wooden stick that connects between your uh, the sickle part and this part over here that, that turns takes your uh, rotational movement into a linear movement. And uh, I kinda kind of broke that thing. So I just had to run back over to the mill house. I made a couple of them. Uh, so we got these ready to go in case I uh, get a little too rambunctious again. Now, one interesting thing was that before, if I started going a little too fast, you could really start hearing this chatter noise coming from the sickle. It doesn't do that anymore. So uh, I don't really have that same little uh, warning sound if I'm going a little too fast. It just, it was cutting real great and then all of a sudden it was just done. There wasn't any weird noises or anything. So um, maybe it was just that, that that one was a little bit worn out. Maybe, uh, I kind of doubt it, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it down in uh, second gear uh, for going around the rest of this to get this field finished off this evening. Alrighty, well, I managed to get the rest of the field here mowed last night without uh, <clears throat> any further incident, or also known as doing anything uh, kind of stupid, but got all the rest of this mowed. I was glad when I came out here and checked it this morning that it, that it looked like I got everything mowed pretty well, because it was getting just a little bit dark by the time I finished it. I think it was quarter of 10, so. Uh, anyways, we got this all done. So we are gonna take the sickle back over towards the mill house. Um, I picked up some parts for this this morning. I was in town, so we're going to replace the uh, the end cutter there. That's a, it's like a section and a half. I got a new one of those. And I also picked up the long rivets that I need for getting these replaced out down here. So we're gonna take this back over, get that stuff swapped out. And then uh, we might do a little bit more mowing here this afternoon uh, elsewhere towards the back of the farm. Alrighty, so now that we've got the, uh, the sickle hopefully in a little bit better working order, we've got all of the cutters replaced, even that little wonky end one. Um, 
we all know that I never bite off more than I can chew. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're back here in the very, very back pasture and it really needs to be mowed. Uh, because we don't have the, the back fence finished on here, we can't run any cattle back here yet. And this, this really needs to be mowed down. Uh, last year, I came back here and I brush hogged it, but I'm thinking that I might as well try getting some hay off from this because I, if I'm gonna be cutting it down, I might as well get something out of it or at least try to. It's not the nicest stuff back here. Uh, there's a lot of like stickweedy kind of stuff around in here. So uh, it's not gonna be in you know, a horse quality hay, but I guess we'll see if we can't get something out of it. Alrighty folks, well we made it back down here. This is where I'm kind of keeping the, uh, the sickle and uh, I think you can see it, the hay rake over there uh, for the time being. They're kind of out of the way and it's fairly close to the one hay field uh, that we've been working in. So that is going to do it for today I think. Uh, done quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of work here uh, do, getting stuff cut and getting the sickle all fixed up and stuff like that uh, there's actually a couple things that i need to do on the sickle um, but we're not going to go over those today uh, but it is going to need a little bit of work uh, before we do uh, hopefully a second cut later on this year so that's it for today's video as always i appreciate you guys watching and i will see you next time